What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Unboxing the Vinyl. I'm your host, Tim Bianconi. If you would, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel below. That would be greatly appreciated. If you could also hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I put out new content, that would be appreciated also. Uh, so this time, we're going to do an unboxing. We're going to open up a new record. However, you, you know, some of my other series I have out there, like my Inside the Vinyl series, you know, I cover some lost classics and some live albums and some different things. Uh, this time, I want to cover what may end up being a future Lost Classic, uh, but this is a newer record, and this is a band that I think everybody should hear, and this would be a punk rock band called, uh, and I'm hoping I'm saying this right, Amel and the Sniffers. Um, so I first heard this band on Faction Punk on Sirius uh, XM, and I heard a song called Freaks to the Front, and my immediate reaction was like, what the F is this? Uh, you know, like, I don't know how many Ted Lasso fans we have out there, but imagine Keeley from Ted Lasso singing for an old school punk rock band and you pretty much have, uh, Ammo and the Sniffers here. So this album was released September 10th, 2021. Uh, it is the second full length album by this band. Uh, it was released on labels, uh, it's like B2B, Flightless Records, something, something to that, to that effect. Uh, and this band is from Australia and they're pretty big in Australia because the album reached number two on the Australian charts. At number 21 in the UK, uh, unfortunately, uh, United States hasn't caught on yet, so it hasn't charted anywhere here yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have here. So, you know, again, I heard this band on Sirius, uh, Sirius XM on Faction Punk, loved the song, ended up downloading the album, and, you know, really just, I don't know, I kept looking on Amazon to buy it or whatever, but I was really hoping it would show up at a local record store uh, that we have here in Jacksonville that specializes in, like, indie rock and punk rock and stuff. And sure enough... Uh, I went in there to trade some records in uh, from a collection I recently bought um, and, you know, dug through and there it was. And, you know, I was like super, super excited. So again, you know, I guess I didn't do this quite right. All right. There, so there's the front cover before I tell, uh, tear the rest of the cellophane off. Uh, here's the back cover with the track listing and all. All right. So I always mess up something on this show. Anyway. All right, so I've had this record for about a week and I've been waiting to record this show so I could open it up because I really want to put this on the turntable and crank it. So uh, again, there we have the front cover, Ammo and the Sniffers. And there is the back cover with the track listing uh, as well as the record label, which this says ATO Records. So I got B2B and Flightless off of Wikipedia. So um, there you go. We've been on here for about three minutes and I've already messed up multiple things. So anyway, uh, let's see. So if we open up the inside album cover, it uh, looks like a picture of the back of the band. Uh, looks like they're ordering food from a deli. So <laughs> awesome. You know, it doesn't get much more rock and roll than that. All right. So cool gatefold. Uh, so let's take a look and see, you know, what's inside the bottle here. All right. So I'm going to pull out the sleeve. I'm going to look and see if there's anything else. All right. Looks like what's probably a download card. Um, so yeah, definitely. Uh, ATO Z Media sound card. So hopefully nobody can see that code and go download my copy of this, even though I already have it. So, um, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll give that away to somebody. All right. So, you know, if we pull the inner sleeve out, we have, um, we have lyrics, uh, lyrics on the front and lyrics on the back. So that's pretty cool. All right. So if we pull out the record, all right, nothing too fancy here. Pretty straightforward. 180 gram vinyl. Uh, straight up black uh, with just the ammo and the sniffer sticker in the middle side a side B You know nothing too too fancy there. So Really cool really cool. You know, like I said, I'm super stoked to finally open this record Because uh, I just really want to turn put this on my turntable and just crank it. So anyway, there you go See if I can get this to stand up All right. All right. So there's ammo and the, eh, ammo ammo and the sniffers uh, and from what I was advised by a buddy of mine, I guess, uh, I guess this Amyl Nitrate or something like that, uh, is the, maybe the inspiration for this name. Uh, I thought maybe part of it was because I think the lead singer's name is Amy. Uh, but anyway, uh, this nominate, this album was nominated for a J award, which is an Australian award. Uh, it was nominated for album of the year. Um, other than that, I couldn't really find a whole lot of reviews on it, um, but I know I like it a lot, and I know the guy the, the, the guy that owns the record store I bought it from uh, was pretty stoked about this band as well. Um, like I said, I heard a song called Freaks to the Front on Sirius XM and fell in love immediately. I uh, got the rest of the album and was not disappointed. Uh, track after track after track, uh, just really, really awesome fucking like old school sounding punk rock. So like I said... 
It starts off with a song called Guided by Angels, uh, which is kind of cool, like the way the lyrics and all that kind of go. Um, yeah, I, I can't really recite them right now without butchering the song, but it's kind of neat. It's like the, the cadence of the lyrics and all that with it is just really, really cool. you know. And then it goes into Freaks to the Front, which I've already talked about. Uh, Choices, another really cool song. Um, Security, you know, she's not looking for trouble. She's looking for love. You know, great tune. Uh, Hurts, there's a song in here called Hurts, uh, H-E-R-T-Z. Uh, to me, it's almost new wavy. Like, it almost has a new wave beginning, um, and you know, to the song and everything. Uh, you know, really cool. Uh, then we go into No More Tears, which to me is very Pretenders-like. Uh, very, like, old school, you know, Chrissy Hine and the Pretenders, um, at least from what I hear. Uh, Capital, another very old school sound, you know, sounding punk tune. Uh, really, really cool. Um, let's see. I'm trying to just go in order here. Uh, there's a song called Knifey on here that starts off with a pretty sick bass line, uh, you know, which... Sometimes with punk rock, you know, at least for the first few records, sometimes the bands don't really know how to play their instruments all that well. And, you know, as they go on, they tend to get better. But, you know, these guys seem to know what they're doing right off the bat here. Um, let's see. Uh, don't need a C word like you, uh, like you to love me. Uh, really, really cool song. Uh, fun song. It's pretty fast. Uh, and there is a lot of use of the C word on here. I won't say it because I don't want to get edited on YouTube or anything like that. But there is a lot of gratuitous words of the C or, uh, use of the C word on here, which is which is kind of fun. Uh, and then the last song on the album is a song called Snakes, which to me is very Sex Pistols like. You know, like I said, to me, this reminds me of Keeley from Ted Lasso singing old school style punk rock, man. You can't go wrong. Uh, it's not like the pop punk from the 90s. I mean, it's very, very old school, uh, very raw, but very, but, but, but at the same time, you know, very well played, uh, very well produced and everything. Um, I think every punk rock fan and every rock fan for that matter should hear this because it's a little something for everybody. I mean, most of it's fast and upbeat. Has a very punk vibe, but like I said, there's some different things on here. Some Pretenders influence, maybe even some Go-Go's influence, maybe even some Joan Jett and the Runaways influence. I mean, a lot of different things on this record. Uh, like I said, uh, this is their second full-length album. Uh, they do have their first album as a self-titled record uh, that came out, I think, in like 2019 or something like that. Uh, they also have two EPs, uh, but you can actually buy those together in one set, and that's called uh, Giddy Up and uh, Big Attraction. So check those out. Check out the self-titled record and... Check out this album, which is called Comfort to Me. I don't think I mentioned that until just now. And I had to look at it to remember it because there's so much else going on with this record. But anyway, Ammo on the Sniffers, Comfort to Me. This is an amazing record. Uh, if you want to hear it, you, you, if you turn on uh, Faction Punk on Sirius XM, you'll probably hear it. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. This is a great, great, great punk rock record. So that's all I've got for you this time. Uh, again, if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel below. Uh, hit that notification bell. I've got some other things out there. I've got the rest of my unboxing the vinyl series uh, where we talk about new releases, reissues, uh, box sets, different things. Sometimes some of it's on CD, like the stuff over there. And then sometimes, you know, it's big box sets like this Def Leppard one behind me. Um, I've also got my Inside the Vinyl series where we talk about Lost Classics, live albums, etc. I've got some live footage out there from concert festivals, Exit 111, Welcome to Rockville, Kiss Concerts, uh, and some other stuff. Uh, and last but not least, if you're into disc golf, I've got some mediocre uh, disc golf videos starring some very mediocre players, myself included. Uh, so, yeah. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, boy.